in the information that you have revealed on WikiLeaks about these so-called endless wars, what has come out of them? Looking at the enormous quantity and diversity of these military or intelligence apparatus insider documents, um, what I see is a, a vast, sprawling um, estate, what we would traditionally call the military intelligence complex or military industrial complex, and that this sprawling um, industrial estate um, is growing, becoming more and more secretive, becoming more and more uncontrolled. This is not um, a sophisticated conspiracy controlled at the top. This is a, a vast movement of self-interest mm. by thousands and thousands of players uh, all working together uh, and against each other to produce a, an end result, which is Iraq and Afghanistan and uh, Colombia and, and keeping that going. You know, we often deal with tax havens and people hiding assets and transferring money are through offshore tax havens. So I see some really quite remarkable similarities. Guantanamo is used for laundering people to an offshore haven which doesn't follow the rule of law. Similarly, Iraq and Afghanistan and Colombia are used to wash money out of the US, US tax base and back. Arms companies. Arms companies, yeah. I mean, what you're saying is that money and money making is at the centre of modern war and it's almost self-perpetuating. Yes, and, and it's becoming worse. What happens when WikiLeaks runs into the United Kingdom, which has some of the most draconian secrecy laws in the world, such as the Official Secrets Act, we haven't found a, a problem publishing uh, UK information. I mean, when we look at the F Official Secrets Act label documents, um, we see they state that it is an offence to retain the information and it is an offence to destroy the information. So the only possible outcome is that we have to publish the information. <laughs> Um, and that's what which we have done on, on many, many occasions. I, I noticed one that I uh, had a, a personal interest in was one that uh, from the Ministry of Defence classified document that um, equated uh, terrorists with investigative journalists as threats. And Russian spies. And Russian spies. Yeah, as, as in fact in many sections of that report investigative journalists are the number one uh, threat to the sort of information security. Uh, of the Minist Ministry of Defence. That was a 2,000-page a document on how to stop leaks uh, from the yeah. Ministry of Defence, which, which we leaked. I didn't know whether to be uh, offended or honoured. Well, um, it's ni nice to be having a, an, an impact. <laughs> Since the release of the Pentagon's war secrets, Julian Assange has been subjected to extraordinary smears and accusations originating in America and Sweden. These include threats against his life and bizarre character assassination. The media all over the world has amplified this propaganda. This secret Pentagon document states clearly that US intelligence intends to destroy trust in WikiLeaks by threatening whistleblowers with exposure and criminal prosecution, thereby discrediting truth-tellers. How you feel about whistleblowers as an essential part of democracy? Do you, do you approve of whistleblowers? Well, I think, uh, you know, this country has laws to protect whistleblowers. Exactly. Uh, mm -hmm. And... Uh, uh, and I think that, uh, you know, th there have been instances in our history where uh, shining a light on something is, is important to do. 